Water is a precious resource everywhere, but especially in the Pacific Islands. From spectacular waterfalls, to teeming wetlands, to our beautiful oceans and beaches, water is the backbone of our island ecology and home to some plants and animals that can be found nowhere else in the world. There are three basic types of water in the Pacific Island Network parks. Fresh water, found in streams, lakes, wetlands, and bogs. Marine water, or salt water, which makes up our oceans. And brackish water, created when marine and fresh waters mix. Hawaii's brackish water habitats, called ankyaline pools, form when groundwater from the mountains mixes with salt water from the ocean through cracks in the porous lava. These ankyaline pools are home to rich ecosystems of native Hawaiian fauna. When we look at protecting the rich diversity of life in the Pacific Islands, we look to our water for clues. Deteriorating water quality can be an early indicator of trouble for the plants, animals, and humans who call our islands home. Changes in climate and the water cycle can affect water quality, as can the consequences of human development. Runoff from rain showers can bring chemical and nutrient pollutants into all bodies of water, including groundwater and aquifers used for drinking. All of the oils, fertilizers, sunscreens, chemicals, even human and animal waste build up in our streams, pools, and lakes, and eventually flow into the ocean. Even small changes in water quality can have big impacts on our unique ecosystems, especially on sensitive plants and animals. For example, when marine water becomes too acidic, Corals lose their ability to grow a healthy housing made of calcium carbonate. Temperature changes can affect plant and animal health. Low oxygen levels in our water can stress organisms and limit the abundance of fish, shrimp, snails, and other animals that rely on oxygen for life. The Inventory and Monitoring Program has begun an extensive project to monitor water quality to help understand how our parks and their precious resources are changing because of pressures from the outside world. From natural changes to human activity, almost everything can have an impact on water quality. Using cutting-edge water quality testing equipment, National Park Service I&M scientists are able to monitor the physical and chemical characteristics of the water our ecosystems depend on for survival. The information collected by monitoring water quality is used to identify the condition of our national park water systems. Most importantly, monitoring water quality over time helps us better understand how our actions can help or hurt these ecosystems. With the help of the National Park Service's Inventory and Monitoring Program, we can preserve the beauty of our park's flora and fauna for generations to come.